we are presenting to the government formally a list of demands. Um, and those demands are this. To reopen the coronal inquest with Mr. Horton's death immediately. Yes. To order an independent review of the DPP's decision yes. not to bring criminal charges yes. uh, by either a retired court, Supreme Court judge or High Court judge outside of Western Australia. Yes. Yes. Thirdly, to table in Parliament the evidence that the DPP relied on to, to reach his uh, court decision. To terminate immediately the contract with G4S. Yes. To return the transportation of detained persons back to the Department of Corrective Services. Yes. To establish indep an independent body to investigate all deaths in custody, not just the police. Because we know they botch it up every time. To black the day. Uh, to, to change the current laws and so that no one can ever get away with this again and to introduce laws that make custodial and corporate manslaughter a criminal offence that people, that corporations and government departments can be prosecuted with. And finally, a public inquiry, independent public inquiry into systemic racism in the administration of justice in this racist state. Those are the key demands. Fire! Hey, this is wrong! This DPP, I don't know how we can say, I don't know if this is one, I don't know how we can say there is no evidence. You know, these people did not, you know, follow protocol and procedure, right? There is no evidence because this is a black man. That's why there's no evidence. This DPP, they want to stand up on TV. That is shame. That is shame. And the two guards need to be charged. The JP needs to be charged. The two police officers need to be charged. The sergeant needs to be charged for acting as a deputy registrar when he didn't even have the right to. Right? I want to point out one thing it's important to remember. This year in Australia, every single month, this year, every single month, 2010, somewhere in Australia, an Aboriginal person has been killed in custody or has died in custody. Every single month this year. This is not some historical issue. This is not something that happened a long time ago. This is something that is happening right now. And still to this day, it remains a case. Never, not once, never has any police officer or any prison official or any government member been found guilty for an Aboriginal death in custody. And there is no any justice in this country. Hold on, Mr. Bull. Those people, they live in this country 200 years last. This still bull is killing them, murdered them, and they are still working, keep their job. And there is no justice for them. That's disgusting. Keep going, keep going. What are you arresting him for? Then six officers bundled one man into a car. The chair of deaths in custody, Mark Newhouse, was physically manhandled as we tried to stop that vehicle moving on and taking this person away that's about to be incarcerated and spend the next six months or one year of his life, you know, trying to acquit himself from something he hardly even did. Standing one foot holding an Aboriginal flag and then cart it off. Wrong! Oh, it's just the outrageous the way the WA police behave. And we, we the people have got to do something about it. We've just got to keep at them. We've just got to keep uh, protesting, dissenting, and get immobilizing and getting action done. Because otherwise they'll get away with literally murder. Last day of the day, we came here to protest about an Aboriginal death in custody and an Aboriginal person was actually arrested. No figure. 